Hi, my name is Jason Harnett, USTA's National Manager and Head Coach for Team USA's Wheelchair Tennis Team. Hello, my name is Jason Allen, Manager for Wheelchair and Technical for the USTA. We have some great tips to help you understand teaching the return of serve to a wheelchair tennis player. The return of serve is considered by the wheelchair tennis player as the first opportunity to attack the opponent because of the movement made before contact. This differs from serving where the athlete is in a relatively still position after the hit. There are two important aspects to a successful return. First, where to begin the first push on the deuce or add sides. Second, the angle of approach to the return of serve to utilize. The use of this 2-3 push start followed by the hit is the most common sequence used. Starting at an angle slightly favoring the backhand side will give the player the most amount of protection against the body serve. This also gives the player the ability to rotate away from the baseline and handle the serve as a forehand return if necessary. It is important for a coach at the beginning stages to explain to the player why these three particular returns are considered most effective. Short angled returns will draw a player into a less favorable part of the court and open the court up for the second hit. High and deep returns to the middle will keep the opponent from attacking the first ball and take away any chance they have to create the angle themselves. Finally, the downline return is the most devastating since the server is starting in a relatively still position and cannot make a lateral move. The return gets back to the server generally too quickly to make an effective response. Helping your players understand the importance of the return of serve will ensure that they start every return point on the offensive. Applying the right angle of approach along with that advantage of being able to push into the hit will almost always give them the upper hand right off the first hit of the point. For more tips and instruction, go to USTA.com.